Hey everybody, welcome to this Keyshot tutorial where I want to clarify the visual difference of using an HDRI environment to light a scene versus using an area light to light the scene. To make this as clear as possible, I've made this scene and I have two studios, one where it's lit by an HDRI that is active at the moment and one where it's lit by an area light. If I go back to my HDRI setup, we can see that we have this single pin environment enabled, it's dark gray, and we have this single pin. So if I move around the scene, you'll see that we have this pin here lighting the scene. And we have here in our scene tree, just the ground plane and the nine spheres that you see here. In the area light setup, I'm using actually also an HDRI, uh, but just the same dark gray background as we have on this single pin to make sure the lighting looks the same. But instead of having the pin in the HDRI, I have added in a physical disk and added an area light material to it that you see here. I have adjusted these two lighting setups to be as close to each other as possible so that the position of the pin and the area light and the size of the pin and the area light is more or less the same. To get a better view of the visual difference that using the HDRI and area light respectively will give you, Let's have a look at two outputted renderings. We have the HDRI set up here and we have the area light here on the right. And what I want you to notice is two things at least. One is that when we use the HDRI, the lighting across the scene is even. So the ground plane is as bright uh, close to the light source than it is further away. While if we look at the area light, we can see that the ground plane is clear, clearly brighter closer to the uh, area light than the part here that is further away. So we get this very visible fall off uh, from the area light that we don't get here uh, with the HDRI. You can also see this if you look at the spheres. So this sphere here with the HDRI lighting is as bright as the one further away from the light source. If you look at the area light, we can see that the ones here closest to the light source is brighter than the ones further away. The second thing I want you to notice is the size and direction of the shadows. Here with the HDRI lighting, the shadows are the exact same size and they are pointing in the same direction. There are a bit of difference in uh, darkness, but that's all. If we take a look at the area light, we can see that first and foremost that the uh, shadows are pointing in different directions. So the object's position in relation to the area light affects the direction of the shadow as well. So the shadows down here are pointing downwards and the ones that we have up here are pointing in the other direction. And this is not to say that area light or HDRI lighting is better than the other. It's just to point out the differences. So even though this uh, clear fall off that we get with the uh, area light is probably more realistic. In a lot of cases, cases, it makes a lot of sense to use the HDRI because it renders faster. And for clean studio shots, uh, it's quite useful that the brightness is the same across the entire product, for example. But if you're going for a more dramatic effect or maybe are doing some kind of environment, I think that using the area light will help you a lot. And we can go into the scene and see how we can pronounce this effect. Uh, and to do that, I will go to my area light setting here, take my disk light, right click and select move, move selection, and move it closer to my spheres here. So this will amplify the effect. You can already see it on the shadows. And um, if I hit okay, move into my camera here like that and um, then go to my disk material settings area light settings and take the brightness down because right now this is burning out completely maybe 260 50 40 ish so now we really see how the things closest to the light source is way brighter than the areas further away and we also see that the shadows now are very different in relation to the distance to the light source. So here in, at the left side, they are very small. And uh, here on the right side, they are. And we also now more clearly see that the shadows are pointing in different directions. 
uh, in relation to the light source as well again. So what happens if we take the HDRI lighting closer to the object? Let me switch to the HDRI setup. And while doing that, let me zoom out so we can see the environment. And then I go to my environment tab in the project panel. And here under settings, we have under the transform dropdown, this size slider. So I want you to take a look at the shadows here while I adjust the uh, size of the environment. And if I decrease it like that, we see that the environment gets smaller and now we get some artifact because the environment is smaller than our scene. But the shadows and intensity of the lighting doesn't change at all. So no matter how big my environment is, uh, the shadows will point in the same direction and we will have the same intensity. So again, useful in some cases, but in other cases you want this uh, more dy dynamic effect. I hope this helped to give you an idea of when and why you should use an area light or when you should use an HDRI. If you like this, join the pack and hit the subscribe button to see more of this kind of content in the future. Until next time, take care.